sincerely hope you're enjoying this Unity Blitz. Oh yeah, let's keep having fun. Today in the hot seat, the all new Unity UT60S Smart Digital Multimeter. Here we go. Unity. UT60S brand new from Unity. Has a few tricks up its sleeve, I gotta say, for a smart multimeter. Mm -hmm. 10,000 counts, NCV, audible and visual alarms, does temperature, frequency, capacitance, and it has some neato tricks. First off, it has that awesome Unity look. You know, I just love what Unity has done with their meters the last couple of years. Really great aesthetics. Probably some of the best, if not the best, out there in the multimeter market at any price. These things are just oh so well designed. Comes with your standard Unity thermocouple because yes, of course it does temperature and it also has these Unity test leads. We've seen them before, we'll see them again. Uh, nice looking leads. They have that Unity branding on them, cat to 1000 volt. Um, perhaps a little bit on small side if you've got larger hands, but all in all, pretty decent test leads, all things considered. And you also get an English user manual. Really nothing more than a pullout, but at least they're giving it to you. Uh, in English, Smart Digital Multimeter User Manual. Good overview here, has all of these specs. And uh, yeah, what more can you ask for? The notice we don't have our standard selector switch on here, push button only. Uh, your mileage may vary. You might like it, might not. I think it's rather cool. It works really well, actually, with this multimeter. Those inputs are uh, really solid in that meter. Nice and uh, snug like a bug in a rug. Yeah, they fit really, really well. Nice, thick, wide Unity tilt stand. Nobody does it better than Unity when it comes to those tilt stands. You can hand this one, bud. No problemo. Oh, very, very nice. Another really nice bonus, one Phillips screw to get to the back of the housing. And look at that. Easy access to those three AAA batteries as well as the one 10 amp high current fuse. Look at that. Love it. And just in case you didn't know it, yes, you can store your test probes simply by putting them in the holders just like that. Also, we have a nice little hanging uh, mechanism here. Unfortunately, Unity does not include a hanger strap for the meter, but if you have one or you want to buy one, you have a spot to put it. Check out that safety certification, ETL and Intertech rated. Oh, yes. Good job, Unity. Come sail away. Come sail away. Won't you sail away with... What do you mean, we're, we're recording? Uh, okay, just get rid of that dust, okay. Right off the get-go is the fact this is not a smart multimeter in the true smart sense of the word, at least what we think is smart in the multimeter genre. No, it's not smart at all. You have to select your ranges manually. So if you want AC volts, you gotta make sure you hit AC volts, DC volts, DC volts, what have you. What they're trying to get at when they say smart digital multimeter, um, I don't know. Turning on the UTS could not be easier. Simply hold down on that power button and away you go. By default, we're putting into DC volts. Let's start off with a DC accuracy test. In terms of accuracy, we're looking at plus or minus 0.7% plus eight digits in a DC volts. So not the, you know, uh, tightest tolerance, that's for sure, um, but there you go, 9.995 volts. By the way, you can invoke that backlight as well just by giving a light tap and there you go. So it definitely helps, especially when the light is not so great and it's got a nice clear greenish kind of a hue. I like it. No bleeding whatsoever. Very easy on the eyes. Looking at AC volts right now, 119.9 volts, true RMS. The top we have our frequency as well, 60 hertz. And if you want more, say duty cycle, press on the frequency duty cycle button. And duty cycle, 49.8%, and once again, frequency at 60 hertz. Next up is diode. Starting off with the red LED, we are lit with a forward voltage drop. Same with the green. Oh, and the tricky yellow. Oh, it is lit, yes but we're not getting that forward voltage drop. Over to the white LED. Yes, and the blue, of course. Standard diodes, no problem. And of course we get that nice audible beep. Now let's just make sure, because a lot of times people ask me, Darren, in diode mode, does it beep continuously or does it stop? Well, the answer is continuously. 
Output voltage in diode mode just under 4 volts at 3.98 volts. Let's take a closer look at those select buttons, shall we? Starting off with the yellow or power button, which also backs as your backlight button. Here we have our range selector, frequency duty cycle, and the one-touch hold. But underneath that we have our AC amps and DC amps, followed by... Volt. And beside that we have millivolts, AC, DC, along with our dual temperature, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. Finally, on the far right, we have our diode, capacitance, continuity, Resist. and... Resist very top of the meter we have our LED for continuity as well as NCV and at the bottom of the meter we have our four input jacks high current amps shared with the milliamp below that we have our micro amps on the far right we have our voltage resistance continuity temperature diode capacitance and frequency and below that we have our common or ground already it's continuity time here we go default stock test leads and remember I don't do anything with these I don't sand them I do nothing they're stock three two one We have that nice LED indicator at the top. A little slow though. It is latched, it is really loud. Let's try the Probe Masters. Probe Masters. Definitely a little bit faster. Yeah, definite improvement with the Probe Masters. Holy schnoodles, 83.9 dBA, that is loud. And in case you're wondering if you turn the unit off, turn it back on, it does not automatically go back into the range you were in. That would have been so nice. Okay, let's do temperature. Without the probe, you can see we have nothing, so no passive sensor on board. We have to use the thermocouple. Let's see if I can get it in the right hole. No jokes, please. And there we are. Nice dual display here. And of course, you can change the sequence by hitting that uh, range button. Or can you? You can't. I thought you could. But you can't. So Fahrenheit will always be small and Celsius will always be big. No offense. So one of the things I really like, one of the tricks up its sleeve is those illuminated touch buttons. Very, very nicely done. I've got the lights kind of turned down here in the lab, but nonetheless, look how easy breezy it is to read those illuminated ranges. Oh man, that is awesome. Now range as well as frequency does not illuminate just the bottom four, but man, oh man, that is very, very nice. And another one of those cool tricks up its sleeve is the fact that we've got those uh, lead notifications. So test leads are currently in the wrong jacks. Why is that? Well, if you take a close look, you can see we're on AC or DC amps. And in fact, we have it in our uh, voltage input. So all you would have to do is put your test lead in the right input and that lead warning goes away. Excellent. Okay, let's take a quick look at resistance now. We're in resistance starting at 1 mega ohm, coming in at 1.01, .01, 3 mega ohm, 6 mega ohm, 10 mega ohm. Oh, that took a little while. Let's try 100K, 300K, 600K, 1 mega ohm. Definitely not the fastest in town, 10K, 30K. 60k 100k yeah it's okay 100 ohm lab resistor coming in at 100.2 ohms now we don't have a rail on this meter let's see if we have any resistance on these test leads i'm using probe masters right now they're coming up nice and clean now i switch to the stock test leads Coming in 100 even, go figure. And do we have any resistance on these test leads? None, so, oh wow. Resistance accuracy at least is 0.5 wow, really of an ohm. coming at 0.39 so try that one more time yeah. so not so good when it's doing the 0.5 ohm test 
60S has a uh, maximum of one capacitance mode, 100 millifarad. Let's put it to the test right now. I have a 100 millifarad cap. It is a thinking. And it looks like it is a no can do. Oh, good gracious me. Uh, what? Okay, let's try 47 millifarad capacitor. And there you go, 45.4. So, oh wow, didn't make it up to 100. But uh, oh, there you go. I mean, in all fairness, it does say in the spec sheet here that we're looking at 99.9 .9 millifarad, but can't do 100. Mm -hmm. Now looking at low current accuracy, 99.8 milliamps coming up. 100 is what we're we want. trying out this NCV here on the studio lighting. And man, oh man, this sucker is definitely sensitive, loud as ever and we have that nice visual display as well good stuff size wise this should give you a pretty good indicator of where things stand not too big not too small almost perfect let's start off with the opposite side a couple of connector springs for the battery terminals that's about it that's about all but really high quality plastics here i've got to tell you and some nice blast protection on the side as well but man oh man this is a really good quality plastic i really like and i love how they do the molding um, i don't know if you recall some of the klein videos i've done uh some of those klein meters but they are atrocious a couple of them in terms of you know just the cutouts but look at that that's the way it should be nice clear laser cutout no messing around very nice and here we are in all of its glory oh man this is a good looking interior i gotta say start off with those input jacks one two three four a couple are split a couple aren't interesting uh, we have a lot of spark gap protection oh man oh man we have the one high current fuse uh 10 amp 1000 volt and look at that little current shunt over here one two three four five six seven ptcs and we have a mob as well um hiding over there uh just beside that relay but uh there's a lot of room considering this is a small PCB. They have done a great job in terms of placing those components. No overcrowding, just a really good all around design. As I mentioned previously, there is that relay. And on top of that over here is the main IC that is from uh, SD Micro, SD7502, 24 bit. That does the ADC as well as the AC True RMS all in one. Over here we have an eight megahertz oscillator. Um, yeah, so. All in all, very nice layout. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. Oh, I almost forgot, look at that. That is the NCV detection right there. Man, oh man, that thing is like huge. Gladna, wow. So, gotta say, much nicer than, you know, just some standard little metal filament protruding. No, that is really beautifully done. Uh, good job, Unity. Okay, gonna put things back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Wow, closing thoughts on the Unity UT60S. Man, oh man, I like this little meter. Other than that silly moniker of smart, hey, come on, it's not really smart in terms of smart as we know it. It ain't dumb either, but why, oh, why use a moniker like that? It just doesn't make sense. No, you gotta set those ranges manually uh, depending on what mode you're in, but hey, at the end of the day, it's worth it. Good resolution, 10,000 counts. Um, this little meter has quite surprised. Price wise, this one can't be beat. Retails for around 36 uh, US dollars, around 46 Canadian. Man, oh man, that is a lot of bang for the buck. Spec wise, definitely not the most accurate out there. Now that plus or minus seven digits, uh, you know, what can I say? But that being said, if precision is not your cup of tea, then this would serve you quite well. As always, that Unity quality shines through and through. Beautiful attention to detail. I didn't see one bad mark on this meter. This thing is definitely well designed and well built. Hey, if you're tired of playing with your selector switch, try this push button beauty from Unity, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. The Unity UT60S gets a solid four out of five stars. 
Oh yeah, Unity Week. I am having fun, I hope you are too. Hey, if there's any UT, Unity Multimeters you wanna see, drop me a line and I will definitely have them on for review. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until the next one, keep on testing. But that is basically it. No shielding whatsoever. What? Have, I can't even talk. Output voltage in down mode, just under full four. Output voltage in down mode, just under four. four, four. I can't even talk.